Hello and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today's video is a showcase of our test cart that we have here in our shop. We use this for our classes and we also use this when we're doing testing of firearms that we're working on outside of classes. But some people have shown some interest in this cart. They've caught it in some shots or students have asked about it. So we really don't get into a whole lot of detail. So I figured those who have attended or plan to attend or those that are just interested might want to see what we have going on here. So, of course, we have a ton of magazines. Why do we have so many magazines? Well, I test each and every magazine that we have here on AR-15s that I service to make sure that they're going to drop free. Now, we have a gauge that checks for that, but sometimes there's little, uh, little personality uh, issues that magazines have with certain lowers, and not everybody has the coin to be purchasing a bunch of varieties uh, or versions of mags, so we test them out. We also have our actual test fire mags. These are all the test fire mags, so they stay loaded. We have some replacement bolt carriers. We have some low tactical ARICs. We have some sand cutters. We have some Colts. We have some FN, Psionics, Sons of Liberty Gunworks. This is a young manufacturing um, BCM, but various bolt carrier groups for testing purposes. We have lots of buffers. We have uh, standard buffers. We have hydraulic buffers. A little bit of everything. We even have like low tactical spacers, old tubs, carrier weight systems. They don't make this no more. Uh, buffer tube or receiver extension spacer. So you can use a different length buffer and a certain receiver extension, which you typically can't do because you'll get travel issues. Here is our buffer springs or action springs. Various types. I have two cleaning rods here that I can use for cleaning or clearing a barrel. One's a uh, 30 cal, one's a 5.56. We have various parts here. I have my extractors with different brands of extractor springs. Extractor pocket gauge. Springco springs, 4 and 5 coil and Colt extractor springs. Springco gas rings and some Colt gas rings in here. And Springco and Colt ejector springs. If you notice a trend here, when it comes to springs and gas rings, there's only a couple sources that I trust to make consistently good springs. Here in the front here, this is my carrier key to low receiver gap gauge that you can use two quarters for. I have uh, magazine lip gauges here to gauge students and customers magazines they provide. Some quarters, if you've seen these in videos, they can be used as a gauge or to space out a carrier that travels too far into the lower receiver. On the front of the cart, we have a tape measure. Most people know what the tape measure is used for in relation to buffer springs, but maybe you don't. If you're worried that your round wire spring, not some aftermarket flat wire spring or braided wire spring, but a round wire spring is right, you put it up to this, and depending on what type of buffer system it's made for, if it's too long, it's bad, it's too short, it's bad. So I have that nice and handy there. And then this is my buffer holster. So let's say I had a gun, needed to swap the buffers. Let's say it was this one. Pull their buffer and spring out. I sit it in there. That way I know it belongs to someone else. Grab the appropriate buffer I want to use, the appropriate spring I want to use, pop it in the gun. And then I fire into the test trap that you guys have seen in videos. Testing isn't just about making sure that the gun fires, ejects, and then locks open when it's empty. Testing is about looking at the ejection pattern. Not necessarily an absolute when it comes to the ejection pattern, but it can tell you some stuff about the gun. You want to look at the consistency of the ejection pattern. You want to look at the brass after it's left the gun. It can tell you a lot about how the gun's running. It's not just about the pattern, but it's the distance that leaves the gun. And like I said, consistency. Very important stuff. And I like to have all this stuff in one place so when I'm working on a gun, I'm not hunting around the shop for the basics so I can continue troubleshooting without having a lot of distractions. Um, I still haven't put like a uh, like a holder, but there's fire damage AR. I'm just putting it here for the video. I want to put something here so I can sort of just like rack one gun while I'm working on stuff instead of doing things like this because when I put my guns here, they always fall over. You can see there's a little uh, panic button. I have several in discrete places. Something bad happens to me. I hit the button over here. We have the pretty boring stuff. I have my ear pro, my wife's ear pro. 
some hand cleaner, cleaning patches, rag, eye pro, some more chamber flags, mag loader, some sotaracha, some swabs, needle nose pliers, picks, tape. Believe it or not, some people, they don't want their shell deflector to get marked up, so I don't piss anybody off. I put tape on the shell deflector. I don't do that to my guns. I think it's silly, but it's their gun. I'm not going to do something that's going to make them upset, so I tape the shell deflector on some guns. i got different punches and screwdrivers here, some needle nose pliers. That's just to hold them from spreading apart. Um, but that's sort of my miscellaneous stuff I have there. I also have a face shield. And I think that's about it right there. If we go underneath of the cart, I've got some different magazines here that really um, aren't used that often, but they're there. We have some other ammunition. I try to keep the ammunition away from this area. The only mags that stay loaded are these two. And this one here, which is a bad one. We use this for demonstration. And then we have some medical stuff. We have a fire extinguisher nearby, always. We have fire blanket we have a life vac anti-choke kit of course this is used if like the Heimlich or something fails um, we have an AED in the shop for anybody that goes into cardiac arrest and then we have our two medical kits our primary which is more of like a, a an emergency bleeder blowout type thing serious injuries and then the other one is more support stuff we have like eye wash in case somebody gets something in their eye um, burn cream uh, boo-boo stuff in case you get like a minor cut things like that but we try to be prepared for the worst and we hope for the best i have a soft armor here i need to get like a plate carrier or something for that um, under that is my magneto speed i don't use that here in the shop but i just sort of have it sitting there uh, let's go around the cart some more in case i'm missing something that's pvc pipe holding my uh my cleaning rods there but these things right here that hold the buffers and springs, I made these out of PVC pipe, some wood and some epoxy, some, you know, generic handles and some spray paint. It allows me to move these around the class if students need to use them. Uh, these foam cutout things that I have the magazines in, I, can't, I think you can get these from Amazon. Um, do I need that? No, no, but as you can tell, I probably have some OCD like to keep things organized. Um, I can't remember what I got this from. I think it was made for like old hard drives and I glued some pieces in, but that's my bolt carrier organizer. So if you guys got some different ideas that I can do to change stuff, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'm always happy to hear what people have to say. Other good minds might have some ideas to do things differently or to add something. There's the test trap. I even have a net that we use sometimes to catch some of the brass if I'm here by myself. I have to take a closer look at where the brass goes with that. But I don't have to chase it all over the shop. When I'm not using that, my wife's helping me shoot videos. She normally gets uh, sprayed with brass. And uh, she does a good job of making sure the camera stays still when they're smacking her in the head and everything else. So, lucky to have my wife for that reason and many other reasons. This channel wouldn't exist without her. But that's our, uh, that's our test cart. As always, I hope you found this educational. Thanks for watching.